Welcome everyone. I'm Kimberly Boschman and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the full moon that's coming up on September 29th. We're going to take a look at each individual life path number and the forecast that this full moon could bring forth. Before we do that, this of course is a general reading. If you would like a personalized reading where we'll take a deep dive into your own numerology uh, chart or forecasts, uh, just book some time with me. I would love to work with you. The information for my website and to book is in the description box below. All right, let's get into it. Life path nine. So for you all, this full moon is highlighting your own energies. So you are in a nine cycle for this full moon and it's bringing, um, well, and your animal wisdom message for this full moon is bat energy. So I kind of love this actually. So let's talk about it. Okay. So this full moon is happening in the sign of Aries, right? So Aries is ruled by Mars. It's a very impulsive, um, self-driven, very self-aware, take the initiative, be the leader in your own life. It's a very confident type of energy. It's also sort of, um, about self, right? So again, self-awareness, going after what you want, um, speaking up for yourself, et cetera, et cetera. What I love about bat energy coming through <clears throat> is that there's some kind of new perspective or different perspective that you're being asked to be open to, right? And so <clears throat> with Aries happening on a full moon, right? Aries, is, again, is like that initi initiation, ta assertiveness, taking charge, going, right? Right, movement. <laughs> but the full moon is often completion, closures, um, things coming to culmination, things closing out, right? So it's kind of like these... Um, interesting, an interesting dynamic between the full moon and then Aries, right? And so what this is telling me is there's something that we need to take an initiative on in closing it out or changing it in some way. Um, so change behaviors, change thought process, uh, self-defeating thought processes, whatever the case may be. But we are at the le we are the leader of this this whatever this is, right? So if there's something in your life that you've been waiting to um, close out, come to completion, etc. With Aries here, it's this energy of you're the one that's going to have to take the initiative to make that happen. You're the one that's going to have to um, be assertive in, you know, asking for what it is that you need to be able to bring this to completion, whatever this is. You're the one that probably will have to initiate the conversations to um, find some kind of closure type thing. With that energy coming through, it's definitely requiring you nines to be open to different ways of doing things, to be open to different perspectives, to moving beyond the illusion of how things look and going deeper into how things actually are, right? Like with pretty much everything in life, we're given the the pretty version, right? Like you think about social media, nobody's putting their real shit on social media. Most of it's about this is what's, you know, this is the beautiful picture that I'm painting type thing, but it doesn't show the process to get to that, that, that beautiful picture, right? And so there's always more happening behind the scenes. So there's definitely something here on this full moon that is asking you all to really just be open to other perspectives, be open to other ideas or different ways of doing things to also allow these new ideas, perspectives, et cetera, et cetera, to offer opportunities for self evaluation, like self-reflection, um, and greater self-discovery. <clears throat> so in other words, what I'm trying to say is there might be a situation where you, uh, there was a falling out with somebody, right? And it's very easy to only see from our side of the story because obviously it's happening to us, right? So we're going to see it from our perspective. But when we can engage with that other person and really truly listen to their side of the story, their their perspective, et cetera, et cetera. It doesn't mean one's right and the other's wrong. It just means that it opens up the lens, right? It opens up the opportunity to see things from a different vantage point. And with that coming through, there's definitely a call for that. 
And seeing things from a bigger vantage point can move us from like victim mentality to some to, to more compassion, to more understanding, to forgiveness, to non-judgment type thing, right? Which is a very nine path, right? Um, so there's definitely something here. Now, again, you're also working with your own energy. So it may be that you need to be the bigger person and reach out to this other person to start the conversation. Now, you don't have any control about how they respond or how they react or whatever the case may be. And of course, you need to respect their wishes as well. But it may be that there's an opening and you need to sort of swallow your pride a little bit and take that opening to start the conversation and then be open to hearing a different perspective and be open to um, working with that other perspective, right? So when we ha- when we have a cycle that's our own energy, like our own life path energy, it's really going to sort of put the focus or the pressure on those areas that we're not in alignment with that energy. So if let's say that you're someone who maybe has a really difficult time forgiving, um, which is totally human, totally normal, etc., is part of the journey, right? <clears throat> It is possible that you may be confronted with something that puts the pressure on um, that forgiveness, right? Like not being able to forgive, or maybe somebody will do something that is unforgivable or whatever the case may be. And then the work becomes figuring out how you can do that, how you can forgive in a very authentic way, in a way that feels um, good and is releasing not only you, but the other person. So it's, you know, it's, it's a journey, right? But I do think that it's possible that there's some some things that need to close out or be discarded at this time that have to do with things that are holding you back um, on your journey, right? So whether, again, it's like self-defeating thought processes or certain belief systems or certain behaviors, you could see um, the pressure we put on those areas at this time. And with bad energy, um, the opportunity, if you're willing to investigate it, right, the opportunity for a new perspective and seeing things differently. And a lot of times that's going to come from somebody else, right? Because we're so immersed in our own journey, obviously, that we sometimes it's difficult to see things differently until we're, again, confronted by someone who sees things differently and is willing to share that perspective in a way that's non-confrontational. So I do think that there's an opportunity here, Nines, to really kind of um, expand your mind, right? Expand your heart, expand your um, experience around this full moon, but in a way that is allowing you to release things that are no longer serving you or that are holding you back from your greater path, right? And that's not all going to happen around the full moon. But a lot of times what can happen, especially with Aries energy, is that the seed is 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 set, right? Like the seed is planted, the inspiration comes in, the idea comes in, and we can't ignore it. Um, it can be very like in your face, right? It's Aries energy. It's it's bold, right? So there's a boldness to it. So you may be, it it can be confronting too, right? It's that fire energy. So there could be some things that come in for you that you might not be ready to see just yet, but you're being asked to at least entertain it and explore it and see where it takes you. So a lot here around perspectives and mindsets and being open to seeing things differently with an open mind and an open heart. So I hope it is a beautiful full moon for you all. Take care, nines. Bye for now.